Hello everyone, Bentley K here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a hot flash and wrinkles makeup Monday video. And we are going to be testing out the Stila Hide and Chic Fluid Foundation. This, I just watched this morning a video from Angie from Hot and Flashy. And this is her new Holy Grail foundation. So I had to try it. Even though I really was, I didn't really like her old Holy Grail, which was the Chanel. But my skin's changed a lot since I tried that. So I can't even say that I didn't like it. I just, when I first tried it, which was a long time ago, I didn't really like it. But this was recommended to her by Lisa Lisa D. And I really like her too, so it's gotta be good, right? So anyways, we're gonna try it, and it basically says, shake it up before you use it, every time you use it. So that's what we're gonna do. So, let's get started. I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand, and I did go to Ulta. It's very thin. It feels like, see, just really thin. So, hopefully, it's good. I'm just gonna spread this out with my brush, and then I'm gonna go back in with a sponge. Um, I did go to Ulta, and I ordered it online and said I'd pick it up in store just to make sure they had it. And they did, thank goodness. But when I got there, I realized that I had gotten one that was too dark for me. This one looks a little bit light, but I don't think it really is. I mean, if you look at it with my neck, it's just barely a little bit light. Because I'd rather have one that's a little bit light and then just bronze it up a little bit then I said a little bit a lot, huh? <clears throat> and then have one that's dark. The one I ordered online was a little bit too dark, so I switched it once I got there to this one. And I'm glad I did, because this one's a little bit light, but just barely. And that one, that other one was like a lot. And it was it had a yellow undertone to it too. And actually, I think this one has a yellow undertone too, but can't really tell it. I think it's pretty good, pretty close. So I am gonna try and build it up a little bit because it's pretty sheer. So let's just do that. So anyways, we're gonna go back in, shake it up again, put a little bit more on my hand, see how totally runny it is. And then just put it in the areas where I think it needs a little bit more coverage, which is basically everywhere. And then I'm gonna go in and spread it out a little. And then I'm gonna go in with my sponge and just smooth it out real well. Angie said that this didn't sink into your, her wrinkles and it covered and it stayed. Well, obviously it did all those things because it's her new Holy Grail. Okay. So now I'm gonna go in with my sponge. I don't even really think I need to. She said it didn't get cakey. So that's what I'm counting on. So I'm excited for this to be as good as she said it was for her. And she tested it for five days. We're only testing it today. Um, well, I might test it another day or two because 
it doesn't have to go up. I have a video ready for Monday. So maybe I'll test it a few times. And just add those to it. I don't know. Okay. It looks good. Oh, it is sinking into my lines. Well, let me put, finish putting the my concealer and stuff on and then we'll powder it and that should keep it out of the lines. I'm gonna use my Jeffree Star concealer. Seems like I had another new concealer that I was using, but I don't remember it now. Oh, I just did that all over my eyelash. I don't see, must be running out because it seems like I don't get nearly as much these days. So I guess I'll have to buy another one. Wish I'd have known. I just ordered from them. I could have saved myself some shipping if I had got it all at once. I didn't realize I was running out. Okay. I'm going to go in and blend this out. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I already had primed my face with my milk gripping primer. She used the It Cosmetics gripping primer, but I don't have that and I certainly don't need to buy any more. So, I yeah, she said it didn't cake, but it looks kind of cakey to me. And it's definitely sinking into my lines. So let's go ahead and contour so that I can put on some powder. Stop all this shenanigans. There we go. Let's go ahead and bye bye pores. Let's go ahead and get it out of all the lines. Hope it stays that way. Start with the under eye, pull it down into these lines. This stupid bracelet keeps getting caught on my pocket. Let's see if we can turn it. Yeah, it's making my skin look dry. Well, I don't know if it's making it or my skin's just dry. Probably my skin's just dry. All right, now I'm going to take my powder brush and just spread this all over my face. And hopefully that'll keep it out of the lines. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my... Um, Pro Glow palette, and I'm going to use this color Sculpt right here, and I am just going to add some contour. And 
And I'm going to go into my Benefit Dallas and put this on my cheeks. Then I'm going to go into the color Strobe in this palette right here, and I'm going to use that for my highlight. Okay, I am going to go off. Oh, I'm going to spray it just to see if that makes this uh, dryness on my head go away. Well, there's dryness all over. Yeah, it's really clinging to the dry. So let's hope this makes it better. It's not. So, this seems to really be bringing out the dryness in my skin. So, I'm going to exfoliate really well. I actually exfoliate twice a day, so I don't know if that's going to do anything. But I will exfoliate really well. And then I will try it with my Tarte Base Tape, which is much more moisturizing, tomorrow. And see if that makes... Although, sometimes it takes a little while. But it looks really dry. It didn't look dry on Angie at all. It actually looked glowy. And I can actually see glow. But I also see a ton of dryness anyway moving on i'm gonna go off camera finish my makeup and i'll be back okay guys i'm back this is the look of the day and i am still seeing that dry patches um as far as it's sinking into lines it seems like the powders keeping it out of the lines so we're good there I will try this again tomorrow with my um, Tarte Base Tape instead of this gripping primer. Because I'm thinking the gripping primer makes it um, drier. Even though it's called Hydro Grip, I think it makes it drier. This one, I think, makes it softer. So tonight, I'm going to really exfoliate and get rid of all these flakes. And then I'll try it again tomorrow. And I will let you know how it did. So, um, I will come back at the end of the day. Actually, no. Since I'm going to add some more footage for tomorrow, I won't come back at the end of the day. Because I'm, it's not going to get better than it already is. It's not bad, but it's definitely not my holy grail. No. Because it's still making me look dry. But... Let me get rid of all this dead skin and try it with a different primer. Because it's definitely not horrible right now. It's just clinging to dry patches. But it's not sinking into lines, so that's good. So, I am going to um, try it again tomorrow and I'll put some footage in. Okay guys, this is the actually the third time I have tried this foundation. And I have to say, I'm still looking really, really dry and flaky. I don't necessarily think it's the foundation, but the foundation isn't helping, that's for sure. Because I didn't, and this time I didn't powder my, um, my forehead, because that seems to be the biggest place. But I am using that new Sunday Riley, and it's not new, it's new to me. The Sunday Riley, which is a lactic acid treatment. So, I am going to try this one more time 
before I actually make my decision, I'm gonna go get a sugar scrub because I've been exfoliating and it looks pretty good when I'm done. It's like, it looks like just my skin, but then when I put anything on it, it looks really dry. And I had a lot of hopes for this because Lisa Lisa D recommended it to Angie and I got it from Angie and I thought, and it's her new holy grail. And she said it didn't turn cakey, it didn't sink into lines. It doesn't seem to be sinking into lines. Which is why I'm willing to give it more shots because I'm using stuff that makes my skin exfoliate. And so I'm afraid that's it. Because like right over here, it's good. But on this side, it's not. It's very, very flaky and dry. And then up here, it's super dry. It's not, well, no, it is as bad. It's just, it doesn't look quite as bad because I didn't put any powder. I did use a powder um, bronzer though, but that I used it way up on the hairline. So it's not as bad, but down here, it's bad. It's flaky. So, like I said, I'm going to go get some sugar scrub and use that tonight and see if I can scrub off the rest of my skin and then see if I like it. Otherwise, I'm probably going to give it a no for me because my skin is just too dry. But then I don't know. I need to try another foundation and one of my old ones that I know how it looks and see if it looks this bad and then I'll know it's not the foundations It's me Okay, guys, I forgot to turn the mic on so I'm just gonna voice over this and let you know how we did um, I used when I did this one. I used my base tape primer and I used my milky mist from pixie and It's still cakey I still don't like it. And I did try my Catrice HD Liquid Coverage, my favorite foundation, yesterday. And it didn't do it at all. It was fine. It wasn't all cakey. So it's the foundation. So I'm definitely going to give this one a thumbs down. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And leave me comments of what you want to see. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. And I will see you in my next video. I have to wait until I give the kiss. So here we go. Any second now I'm going to do it. Oh no, I'm still going to keep talking about how bad it is. <laughs> Sorry. So here we go. Mmm.